guys, it's me, my little vlogs, and today, for me to review, I got the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Plesiosaurus. So, interestingly enough, this is the fourth aquatic figure to be released, other than the Jurassic World Mosasaurus vs. Submarine, Falling Kingdom Mosasaurus, and the Battle Damage Plesiosaurus. But for the fourth one, as you can see, we now have the Dino Rebels Plesiosaurus, which is pretty interesting. So as for the box, you can see that we got the Dino Rebels logo as well as Plesiosaurus, a little bit damaged. Jurassic World, Dino Rebels. In the back, you can see you got the Plesiosaurus, some, um, the card, and the other figures. So besides that, nothing really much about the box. Alright, so here it is out of the package. Um, I know, technically, I forgot to mention this, but this is the first video of 2020, which is really neat. So I guess technically it's a 2020 special? I don't know. So it's pretty interesting um, to see a, another aquatic reptile figure. Personally, I hope they make more because... Aquatic Reptiles has been in Jurassic Park history uh, throughout the entire history of Jurassic Park, I guess you could say. Um, they featured in almost all the video games. They featured in comics. They featured, I believe, in Michael Crichton's books. At least, I think, I believe there was like a reference to um, one of them in the first novel. I could be wrong. But, um, basically, these things have been here for, like, all the time. So it's pretty neat to see them get more, um, how would I say it, recognition. But, as you can see here, it's a pretty neat figure. Got, like, this dark blue, um, pattern on his back. And you go over here. And it's smaller. You get into the face. And of course the mouth could open. That's what it looks like. Really neat. Not gonna lie. No paint on the tail sadly. Nor on the bottom. You also got the code if you want it. So yeah. But here it is. Really neat figure, I must admit. Um, so yeah. So on to the articulation. The tail could go up. And the tail could go down. The neck could go up. neck could go down. And goes the head. And also the head could like twist and turn. The mouth could open and close. And the fins could also rotate. All of them could. You could rotate however you want them. Um, also, the action feature of this thing is that you press down the button and, of course, the fins move. So, yeah, that's that. Um, really neat. I'm um, pretty accurate. Not gonna lie. Um, does have some balancing issues. It's a little front heavy. So I guess you have to put in like a Loch Ness Monster pose. Still a little top heavy though. Um, but yeah. Here's the figure. Not gonna lie, it's pretty sad how like they made the neck movement very limited. Um, personally, I wish they like made it more like the Tanistrophus figure where it had a wire and it was all rubber personally I think it would make a lot more sense for them to do it like that as well as the tail but here it is compared to the Tanistrophus if you want but yeah um 
Also, um, so yeah, I just, I, I don't know, I wish they did that, but instead they just made it full plastic. Not really much to say about this figure. Um, it's really, the sculpt is pretty neat, but at the same time, it's not that much posable. You know, imagine, not, not really that much to do with it, really. I mean, you know, besides the sculpt. But, yeah, there is the Plesiosaurus. Alright, here it is compared to the Mattel Raptor, Kenner Raptor, a Mattel Human, and a Kenner Human. Also, just in case if you're curious, this is what it looks like compared to the Mattel Mosasaurus. Very small, but yeah, there it is. It's like almost the same size as the fin. Alright, so last but not least, here is the card. So you can see the artwork for the Plesiosaurus. Um, not that much different. The background is not much different than the other ones, but it's still pretty neat. I wish they made this like a little movie card or a, like a Dino Fax card, like the other figures, but I guess this will do. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and like always, see you all next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.